Hello all, welcome back. Today we are going to learn express.url encoded. Okay, it's a built-in middleware in Express.js. Okay, we are going to understand in detail. And I'm going to explain one real-time example so that it's going to be easy for us. Okay, let's open the code. So I have just a simple application. I've just installed Express.js and Nordmon. Okay, we can run the application. Okay, even I will just write down it one more time. So I'm just writing our first route app dot get okay this time uh, we can go with um, the login and uh, we can add a middleware function or um, our handler request response and uh, for now just to send a response a simple message response dot send I'm just saying like a welcome okay that's fine so let's run the application because right now we are using uh, NodeMod and uh, the application file, the, the main file is app.js so that NodeMod app so that the application is uh, up and running at port number 3000 and the route is slash uh, login. So let's uh, hit the server, the same URI. So the same login. So we got the message, we got the message, this successful. So here, some interesting thing is there. So we not only uh, just a simple message. If you see what I'm going to do, I'm just writing some HTML. Yes, I'm. You can write some HTML there. So I'm just write adding h1 tag. So I hope you are aware of HTML, right? So h1, and here I'm just putting like welcome. I'm so careful. You know what will happen. So of course we are using node one so that application is up and running for each and every change so just if it, before it's just a normal text right if i have given h1 tag so it's it just applied that h1 tag okay that's fantastic so in the same way we can create buttons or you can create uh, anything else all the html stuff so for for just understanding purpose i'm just going to explain one more simple thing so i'm just adding one div Okay. This div have a input tag that type is equal to text. So then what will happen? It will create a text box and even you can add a button. Okay. And just give a proper syntax. Okay, login okay so really if you are if you if you are learning this first time definitely will enjoy it so now if you see we will get a login form oh, oh fantastic so let's let's add a um, it's just a username right so let me add one more input and maybe you got the uh, question Raghu we are discussing about the url encoded why you are explaining all these things yes we are going to uh, reach that point in next few minutes. Okay, you should you need a real-time example, right? So I the first text box and second text box is there. Okay, I'm just giving a name. Okay, it's name equal to so I just given a single quotations uh, user name and here I'm just giving name as a password. I'm just giving a name for the text box. Save it. And of course, it's up and running. And now, just refresh. So you got two text boxes. Okay, you can you can you can make it much more. You can add CSS as well. Okay, so if you have some patience, just add some CSS as well. So this is the simple thing. So you see what will happen. What will happen? Suppose I'm just writing uh, username svgie and the password one two three four five. So if I click on login, is it going to send a request to the server if you see our server is up and running and uh, if i hit that if i just click on login button after entering, entering username and password so if you see you can't you can't receive anything actually you see you're not receiving anything but here here some interesting thing is there so if you if you use the form if you use the form so that whenever you click on a button 
and uh, we should add a, a method as a post now in that case it is going to send a request to the server okay you see i'm doing the, the small changes so instead of div here i'm just taking the form so even you can close that so now it is a login form and again just give a method okay suppose if you are already good at html hopefully you are or aware of this okay the method is post so whenever you mention method as post it will work as a the post method so it will send a request uh, post request to the server yes but for that for that because this is the get request right this is the get route suppose if you get a uh, request from the server with the post method we should have a route right so for that just add one more route here with the post okay. without that it is not going to work so i'm just adding here again login okay just give a same kind of um, path okay. here i'm just adding request and response and uh, here let, let's see okay what we can get from the request so here i'm just putting request dot body because whenever you enter username and password and if whenever you click on a button the username and password will come to the server in the form of body okay request body that's why i'm just putting request on body and let's see whether first of all whether we received a response or not so server should send a response that okay yes i so i'm just putting like a just simple yes so if you got the message yes to the client that means okay we have sent a request to the server successfully so that server has sent a response like a yes okay and we have a console.log let's see what will be there in our console.log okay so again our application is up and running and uh, just uh, refresh one more time and now I'm just adding the username as svgie and password as 12345. Okay, password is 12345. Now, whenever I click on login, so previously, uh, before adding that post method, we are not able to see anything at the server because that means we are not getting the uh, request to the server. But now you will see some response. So, you see, we got yes, yes, yes. That means we have sent a uh request to the server post request to the server successfully so again if you see we have done a console.log so right now it is showing undefined because it is not able to understand what we have sent okay so here that url encoded is very very important so because this because whenever we are sending the information in the form of form like form log in this in this in this format the data from client to the server it will send in the form of url encoded format to that request.body so server can't understand that url encoded format by default so that what we need to do what we need to do so here just add that middleware app dot use just adding express dot url encoded that let's see whether it will give a details properly or not so here i'm just writing svgie and the password as one two three four five okay now just click on login so we got the success response but let's see what what is there in the console.log hey fantastic we got username and password right very have mentioned this username key very have mentioned password key just go back just go back to the code Observe carefully. We have given a name, right? Name to the text box as username and the second text box name as password. So that it will consider it as a key and value will be the uh, text what you are entering into the text box. So it will create an object and it will send it to the server. So that format is in a URL encoded format. So if server wants to understand that, so that we should parse that URL encoded format, right? Into a JSON format. So that's why we need a URL encoded. So let's say I will show you. I will show you whether it is sending the request in a URL encoded format or not. So just see, I'm just writing here SVGIE 
I'm like here I'm just putting like one, two, three, four, five. So just open the uh, dev tools, just go to the network tab and now hit the server. Just remove all this stuff and just hit the server. So if you see this is the request we got, right? Uh, we have sent a request and we got the response as a 200 okay, successful and the request header okay this is the response header okay this is the request header understand just observe carefully observe carefully thus yeah content type observe carefully here content type what is this content type application forward slash x iphone www iphone form url encoded that means whenever we use this form so that the format by default will be that URL encoded. So server, if server wants to understand that URL encoded, so we should parse it with the help of URL encoded. So this is the story behind this URL encoded. Okay, hopefully, suppose uh, this is suppose if you are learning this first time, just play around with this. Okay, just you can create some. Uh, HTML stuff, login button, tables kind of thing. Just just play around it and uh, just enjoy it. Okay. So I hope you understand uh, what is the importance of your okay. And of course, uh, you know, in our last uh, few sessions, we understand like uh, what is the importance of express.static and express.json. And now today we are understood express.url encoding. And one more interesting thing is there for us. Okay. Whatever the session I'm recording here, that is going to be a 400th video for our SVG IE. So it's a great milestone. Very soon we are going to reach 500. So really, really, I am I'm enjoying uh, this process. Hopefully you will enjoy, uh, of course, your experience that uh, learning process. So thank you and uh, get ready for the next topic that is uh, the What's that? What we can learn? Okay, error handling middleware. So this is going to be very, very interesting topic and important topic. Like whenever we are building an applications, we are going to use it regularly. So that I'm going to uh, create separate video on this. I will try to explain in detail. Okay, thank you and just give a like and uh, enjoy the process and enjoy learning. Bye. -bye.